Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets and probability. In this, we are going to discuss sets, probability, actually probability with combination and permutation. Okay, a circuit board has 24 boards, um, of which four are defective. If five circuit boards are selected, what is the probability that all of the boards are good? So part over whole. If we're selecting circuit boards and all things being equal, once the five are selected, it doesn't matter the order in which you selected them. We are just randomly selecting. That means if order doesn't matter, we use combination. So we want the combination of the 20 good boards taken five at a time. That's gonna be the number of ways we can get these good boards. And then we're gonna divide by the total, which is the combination of all 24 boards taken five at a time. And if we divide this out, we have the probability of 0 0.3648. Okay, what is the probability that four of the boards are defective? So all four defective boards are selected, but still we're selecting five. So for selecting five, we need to multiply to get all five in there. So for the four defective boards, that's the combination of the four defective boards taken four at a time. If you think about it, if or, or doesn't matter, C44 should really be just one. And it is, if we did the calculations. Okay, but that doesn't matter. What we really wanna look at is, this is the number of defective boards and the number in the selection. And then we need to multiply by the number of good boards and we're selecting one of these, four plus one is five. We're dividing by the total. Combination of 24, four plus 20 is 24, 4 plus 1 is 5. All our numbers look good because the numerator, what we're taking out of adds up. The numerator, how many we're taking is adding up. The second is more important than the first because if we didn't have one of the categories like up here, those fives have to match. Um, if we multiply and divide this, we get 0 0.00047. That's very, very, very not likely. What's the probability that at least one board is defective? Okay, so what we could have if we pulled these boards out is we could have zero defective, we could have one defective, two defective, three defective, four defective. And each of these, this right here is zero defective. They're all good. This right here is four defective. We kind of see how we're building these numbers out. At least one means we wanna add all of these together. The problem with adding all of these together is that's going to be a lot of work, more work than I want to do. But what I could do is I could take this, which is the total, and subtract off the all good. And I should be, essentially what I'm doing is the total minus no defective, which is going to be the same as the total minus all good. The total I'm really gonna do is in probabilities, I'm gonna do one minus the probability of. Now, I could be really clever since I've already done this calculation and just say one minus 0 0.3648 equals 0 0.6352. Or if I didn't have calculation A, I would say one minus the combination of 20 good boards taken five at a time divided by the combination of 24 total boards taken five at a time, and I'm gonna end up with the same answer. Either way, um, what is the probability that at least three boards are good? Okay, so if I wanna know the probability that three boards are good, at least three boards are good, that means what we're really doing is zero defective, one defective over two defective. If Leafs three are good, that means it's three, four, or five. Now I could do addition or subtraction. I'm gonna do addition because it's such a minor difference in calculation. And I think subtraction sometimes kind of gets weird, but okay. Let's say that we want to make sure that we have at least three boards that are good. So if we have three boards that are good, that's the combination of the 20 good boards taken three at a time, but I need a set of five. So I need to multiply the combination of the four defective boards taken two at a time because three plus two is five. All right, I have to add to this another category, the category that four boards are good. That's the combination of the 20 boards taken four at a time times the combination of the four defective boards 
taken one at a time. Once again, three plus two is five, four plus one is five. We multiply out for each category. Last, we're gonna do the combination that they're all good. Now, up at the top, what I did is I said the combination of the 20 boards taken five at a time. If I wanted to kind of have that full symmetry like I did in part B, I could have multiplied in the combination of the four defective boards taken zero at a time, then I would have had 24 for my first number and five for my second number. You don't need to do this because the combination of four taken zero at a time is equal to one, which is why we don't need to bring that into our problem. But it's kind of nice to see the symmetry. We're still gonna divide by the total, all 24 taken five at a time, and when we calculate this out, we get 0 0.9816. So it's pretty probable. It is a good, better than good chance that you are gonna be getting at least three good boards. And the last one is, what is the probability that the boards are selected bad, bad, good, good, good? Okay, so this is the one where all of our other examples, the order didn't matter. When you picked the board, they were just there in front of you. It didn't matter the order in which you picked them. Here we have a very set order. One, two, three, four, five. When you go to order mattering, you have to go to permutation for everything. Don't mix and match your C's and your P's. We have the permutation of the four bad boards taken two at a time times the permutation of the 20 good ones taken three at a time. Notice we still have 24, we still have five. We divide by the permutation of the 24 boards taken five at a time, P, 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 all permutations. That's very, very important. Um, otherwise, you don't mix your medias here. And we have zero, 0.0161. Not too likely. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!